Hi guys, it's Sonidius and welcome to this game of Total War Arena. By the makers of Total War Rome, by the makers of Total War Kingdoms, etc. etc. So there's, there's a whole range of games they've made, but there's also by the same makers as World of Tanks. So it's a collaboration between the two teams. So you see, of course, the mechanics of both in here. I'm able to choose my starting positions now, and I've chosen to play with archers. I'm going to basically speed up a little bit, but there's, of course, a cooldown of 60 seconds on there. One benefit of that, it basically gives me a quick bit, bit of a speed boost at the beginning, which allows me to get into range of enemy units, hopefully a little bit quicker. But also, it basically does put me up front on the front line, which, of course, makes it slightly more dangerous for me. Now, it looks like my allies here, and this is a horseman, are actually taken to the woods. So they're trying to use the woods as cover, so it gives them a, a yeah, concealment advantage, but at the same time it also will reduce any damage they will suffer. <clears throat> right, we're getting some units to basically get into our range, it looks like. Now, I'm of course, cannot use that speed walk ability at the moment. I'm being attacked, of course, by those horsemen. Luckily, I got some melee units here to support me. <clears throat> so, it did suffer some losses. As you can see, that little bar here is indicating that that suffered some losses, but it, it's not a total loss. That's, that's good. That's at least good. It looks like there's a heavy contingent of enemy units on this flank here. Some of my allies there are basically pulling back. <clears throat> we must cease fire. Right. Unfortunately, I'm firing into my allies, which is not the idea. Changed my target slightly to, to these units on the left here. Need to keep an eye on what's going on behind me, because I want to make sure I don't get uh, surrounded. <clears throat> Looks like I'm now purely firing on the, en the, al the enemies. <clears throat> And of course, they decide to walk straight through there, which means that basically they are now also suffering a little bit because of that. Alright, let's speed boost. <clears throat> I'm still being uh, fired up on by the enemy. And it looks like they are trying to basically run it down to me as well with these uh, guys here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get into a slightly higher position here. I'm going to go through the woods there. I would typically say that, of course, archers would be quicker than these guys here. But again, they're, they're under the same commander as I am. Which actually might mean that they might have similar advantages. They can actually do speed boost as well. <clears throat> Now looking at the top, the blue bar is still longer than the other bar. I did fire into them briefly, just to see if I can maybe distract them a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be possible. At least not too much. And they've got an advantage where they basically have got the cover of the forest at the moment. <coughs> Looks like they're not coming out of the forest, but then again, that ridge line here is blocking part of my view. Maybe I can actually use the advantage of the terrain here to my benefit. <clears throat> Let's see whether we can actually support our allies here a bit more. Now, the continuous one that I would suffer from is, of course, the ranged units here. <coughs> so I'm going to try to focus on those. I do recognize some of these names. This is actually a... a versus AI. So they're relatively standard names that we got here for the enemy. <clears throat> A 
Yes, I'm seeing that. Alright, let's pull back. Because once those melee units get into action, I will actually suffer substantially. And I just did a quick speed boost again. Now, it does look like we actually are still in the blue part here. I've got an advantage over the enemy. Alright, looks like they're almost upon me. <clears throat> Come on. It'd be nice if they can just hold off for a little bit longer. Yes, I know. I'm going to try to use my f allies here as basically a bit of a shield. There we go. <clears throat> They're able to fire into them. We got one horse here that we're basically surrounding and we're trying to basically take him down. We are doing damage to him. Come on guys, just take him down. 18%, 15. I think I'll be a bit better off basically trying to fire into them. <clears throat> I guess at the same time I'm basically hitting him on his horse. Yes, and he's down. Am I firing up on allies, really? I don't know how, but if they say so, then it's probably the case. Now, principal should still be able to do more damage to them <coughs> than they to us. And it looks like we are going to be winning this game here. At least our team is winning the game. I'm just contributing to the overall win. be able to see exactly our contribution thus far but click on the tab key you see we're you know, not the highest ranking but it's okay it's about the fun in the gameplay as well <clears throat> all right let's focus fire there Looks like we are actually substantially hitting him there. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that. Shouldn't be any allied fire here. We should just be purely firing into the enemy. <clears throat> From the flank, which should give him extra damage as well. Oops. do seem to be suffering a little bit of damage here. I was wondering, who are they attacking at the moment? Yeah, sorry. Okay, guys. That was quite a bit of uh, allied fire, unfortunately. <coughs> Yes. Now we've improved our ranking a little bit, which is good. We are firing upon allies. Cease. You, you, the, the chance of actually getting allied fire is quite substantial. Stop firing. Yeah. I do want to basically, of course, minimize that, but it, it's not always avoidable. You do get a little warning about it. As you can see, a substantial amount of deduction for the yeah, Allied Fire. Oh well. Now it looks like I might actually just want to go for the base.
Just a single die. <laughs> Hitting my own units even. <clears throat> Not too smart, but okay. Alright, I'm always trying to basically keep a bit of an eye on what's going on in the, the battlefield overall. It looks like we're actually getting an Annihilation victory. Because these guys here are being slaughtered. Sweet! Annihilation victory. <clears throat> Alright. Who's got the best play here? It's Zaralias. Congratulations. Sweet. So we basically, of course, earned some extra points. We basically get, a, again, first blood. We drew first blood. Exterminator. Kill 100 enemy soldiers in a single battle. We did that once, I guess. Um, score. Not the best, but yeah, we will basically improve with time. Back when I was in the close beat, I basically got in the top tier a couple of times. So yeah, that, that, that's nice. And we leveled up. So our commander now has leveled up. Um, <clears throat> I basically earned a premium subscription for... Is that for one day, I guess? Yeah, premium account for 24 hours. Nice. I don't remember getting that reward when I was actually in a closed beta, but okay. So let's actually have a look at this unit here. I need so a total of 700 XP to be able to upgrade him. But of course the commander herself has leveled up. Or hasn't he? No, it's me personally that's leveled up. So you got your personal level on here as well, which is interesting. Um, and that's actually advanced to the next stage now. <clears throat> okay, that's nice. So as you can see, uh, I played mostly with archers thus far. Three battles with archers, to be to be honest. And the rest was with yeah, Roman swordmen. So that's again seen here on the left side in the faction play that you have been doing. Alright, sweet. Okay, I thought there was a bit of upgrading to be done on Kinane. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next recording. Take care. Bye-bye.